Hello there, at least there's some good news at the moment. For the first time since 2015, full year exports to the UK from Germany could grow again. However, experts see no reason to celebrate at the moment. German exports to Great Britain are about to make a comeback after years of decline, also due to Brexit. They could grow again this year for the first time, as I said, since 2015. From January to August, German companies sold goods worth 48 billion euros to the United Kingdom. That's an increase of 11.4% compared to the same period last year. This comes from data from the Federal Statistical Office. If the upward trend continues through the end of the year, this would be the first increase after six consecutive years of contracting exports. The negative series began with the year of the Brexit referendum in 2015, in which in, uh, 2016, in which a narrow majority of Britons voted in favor of leaving the EU, which has now, yeah, officially been completed. Despite the positive development, the Association of German Chambers of Industry and Commerce, the DIHK, sees no reason to celebrate as Brexit and the recent turmoil in the British national currency, the pound, have made business far more difficult. This is anything but a U-turn in German-British trade for the better, is what DIHK foreign trade chief Volker Treyer told the Reuters news agency on Wednesday. In the UK business, the prospects for the German economy remain gloomy, he says. The increase in exports to the United Kingdom for the first time in years is just a sign of the enormous costs that companies are trying to pass on. In fact, Brexit is still causing planning and legal uncertainty for internationally active German companies, said Tyre. Especially the medium-sized economy sees itself burdened by the newly emerging regulation density. The British plans to deviate from EU rules and standards, for example in data protection, food or chemicals, increase the costs and the uncertainty for German companies in the UK business. In addition, there is the quake and confusion in the capital markets and the British economy as a whole, triggered by the economic stimulus and tax package, tax package that were initially announced and then partially withdrawn, said Trier. The associated exchange rate fluctuations increase the uncertainties in German-British business relations. On Monday, the new Chancellor of the Exchequer of Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt scrapped most of Prime Minister Liz Truss' economic policy plans. This is also seen as an attempt to curb a dramatic loss of confidence on the part of investors who doubted the viability of the debt finance financial plans initially considered. Truss has admitted mistakes in her economic concept but is sticking to her position. In view of the global crises, German foreign trade is in difficult waters anyway, said DIHK expert Trier. Unfortunately, there is no reduced predictability in business with Great Britain, one of our most important trading partners. Well, in the ranking of Germany's most important trading partners, Great Britain took 10th place last year. In the year of the Brexit referendum in 2016, the country was still the fifth most important trading partner. According to the DIHK, goods worth 65.3 billion euros were delivered to the island last year. That's a good 20 billion less than in 2016. For many economists, the tax cut plans of former finance minister Kwasi Kwarteng came at the wrong time. The sharp rise in energy prices recently pushed up inflation in the United Kingdom even more than in the rest of Europe. And in September, consumer prices rose again by 10.1% uh, by compared to the same month last year, as the statistics office ONS announced today, when I'm filming this. In the previous month, they had fallen to 9.9% after having reached 10.1% in July. UK inflation is now at its highest level since records began in '97. Inflation was last higher in 82. In the year of the Brexit referendum in 2016, the country, as I said, was still the fifth important, uh, most important trading partner of Germany. The most important partner is the USA. The volume of exports to the United States is currently on a record course. Exports had already passed the $100 billion mark in August, earlier than in any other country. And overall, German-US exports grew by 27.2% in the first eight months, compared to the same period last year 
and are now already at 100.2 billion euros. And uh, that is a significant sign. So it's not the world market that makes it difficult with the UK. It's Brexit and the UK politics. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.